What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition here of the Washington Football Maniacs. Uh, I am Greg. Nice to meet you. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. Um, if you've been joining us for a little bit and enjoying the channel, I want you to please consider subscribing to this channel. I try to put out videos on a regular basis. Um, as you know, I have not been able to do so on a regular basis here lately. I've had a lot going on. Um, Certainly, you know, with my dad uh, fighting for his life uh, from uh, COVID pneumonia in the hospital to my wife um, mending up from her rotator cuff surgery and having to, you know, help her out with that. It's been tough to deal with the channel. Um, just a lot of things going on. But I wanted to make a quick video here. Just really, you know, since there hasn't been a lot going on in football world, especially the, the commanders, um, here lately, I want to really talk about uh, something that I've noticed is still a thing that I read on Twitter, and it's talking about the name. You know, um, there's still a lot of folks who will never call the Commanders the Commanders. Um, you know, they will still call them the Washington Redskins for l the rest of their life. Will always refer to them as the Redskins, and. You know, then you're going to have those on the other side who are going to refer to them only as the commanders because they feel like it's, um, you know, a derogatory term to call or to even use the term Redskins. Um, even though I felt like, well, you know, it was it wasn't really wasn't really an adjective or or anything like that. It was a uh, it was a name and. Um, you know, was not used in a derogatory manner. But neither here or there. Um, I've noticed that the fan base nowadays is still a little torn, but I've noticed that you still have a lot of, of the fan base who are like, you know what, Redskins for life no matter what. And I'm kind of okay with that. Um, why am I saying that? Because, you know, I grew up... A Redskins fan since 1981. I know I don't look it. <laughs> I don't look 68 right now. Um, but I grew up a fan since the the early early 80s, right? So <laughs> do you hear that? I don't know if that caught that on the video. That was one of my kittens, cats. Um, so um, Having watched this franchise for 40 years, 40 plus years, um, it's very hard to separate Washington Redskins from Washington Commanders. And the thing is, if you're going to separate them, then you probably should also separate the history, right? Um, you know, you can't have it both ways. I've noticed there's been a lot of people who are like, no, I don't want you to, you know, we, we should make a clean cut and we should not even talk about history anymore, but yet we still want to claim those Super Bowl victories, right? I mean, you know, the, they're, they're coming with us, right? Uh, Washington Commanders won the Super Bowl back in the 80s. No, they didn't. They were not around in the 80s. So you can't have it both ways. Uh, you're, e you're either, uh, the way I look at it is you're either 100% in, uh, with this franchise and all of its history, or you're not. I mean, he, all right, let me put it to you this way. I don't blame those who will never accept the new name because, honestly, I don't think the new name is that great. Um, I will learn to love it if they start winning. But if you take a step back and you look around at some of the names of the other teams, you know... Were those were those names that you would probably have picked <laughs> um, as football names if these teams did not have names? Probably not. Like, I mean, they, and they're iconic names now. For instance, uh, the Green Bay Packers. Okay, unless that you are from that area, and maybe not even to that extent, but would Packers? have been your first choice as a mascot name for a professional football team. I mean, seriously. If there was no 
football up in Green Bay, and they had just gotten a new football team, and we had to vote on what the new football team name was going to be. Do you think that people would have chosen Packers? <clears throat> probably not. It probably would have been, you know, something really fierce. Uh, you know, the Green Bay Mountain Lions or something. I don't know. It would, it would not have been Packers because no one would have ever thought about Packers. Uh, but yet, that is such an iconic name now. Green Bay Packers. I could never even think of that team being called anything else, right? Um, I mean, same way with the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, we could probably make an argument about the Cowboys, um, you know, causing harm to the Native Americans and, and all that stuff. There could be arguments on that. I'm not going to get into any of that, but could you picture the Dallas Cowboys changing their names? No. And I wouldn't want them to change their names. That's ridiculous. They've been the Cowboys forever. And there's been a lot of Cowboys fans who said the same thing about the Washington Redskins. They were like, it's ridiculous. You know, it's going to ruin our ri rivalry. And who knows, it might. Uh, but so be it. I have always been in the camp that, you know... I have no problems with continuing the tradition of the Washington Redskins. Yes, they will always be the Washington Redskins to me no matter what, but I'm willing to call them the Commanders because that is what they are now. Um, but I will still hold on and fully embrace their history, and I don't believe that their history should be uh, thrown away and covered up somewhere as if you are offended or, well, not offended, but just, you know, if you're ashamed of it. Because, to me, I think it's ridiculous. Um, I'm not going to be ashamed of something that someone told me you should be ashamed of, that they were told you should be ashamed of, and then when it gets down to it, nobody can really figure out why they're being ashamed of it. And... <clears throat> maybe that, you know, because of some regurgitated um, answer from somebody who is not the offending party, right, or, or the offended party. And the offended party is saying, I don't really care that much about it. You know, so that's, that's kind of how it, it had really been in a large part of this. But yet, you know... People really are suckers when it comes to, to media, the hook, line, and sinker. And so that's how all of this really uh, came about. But, you know, I, I think just in closing with this video, I just want to say that uh, don't be ashamed to, you know, continue to root for the Washington Redskins. Um, there's plenty of people who have Redskins tattoos. I've thought about I thought about getting some Redskins tattoos. Um, you know, I have Redskins shirts and stuff like that. You know, hats. I mean, don't hide that stuff. It's part of their their history. And it's not a bad history. It's a great history. It was a history of, of winning. It was a history of when, honestly, everybody was brought together and cheering and really in unison everybody was happy because you know no matter what their political affiliation was they can all show up together on Sunday at RFK Stadium oh rest in peace and they can cheer for the Washington Redskins and see Art Monk or Gary Clark or Ricky Sanders or you know John Riggins breaking free for a 40 some yard touchdown and see them win, you know, week in and week out and, and, you know, get to championships. And it was a great time under the banner of Washington Redskins. That's what you have to remember. And I think if people look at it in that light, they will see that there's no, there's no reason to hide that, you know. And there's... At the same time, there is no shame in also embracing the future. Um, 
you know, I'll embrace the Commanders. I think their logo is a little clip art, though. I mean, my wife is a graphic designer. She could design a much, much better logo for them. Honestly, the logo's horrible. Um, the crest is actually pretty good. Um, I don't know why they don't just try to just put the crest on the helmet as opposed to the look, you know, the, the clip art W. But don't hide your Redskin stuff. Don't hide it. You know, embrace it. If you want to sport the new stuff, sport the new stuff too. Mix it together. You know, let people know, hey, this is the same team. This will always be the same team. We should all be on the same team, right? Now, I think that's my whole point. Let's all be on the same team. For Washington Redskins fans, or Washington Commanders fans, Washington football team fans, whatever, we're Washington football fans. Let's all get together and cheer, cheer for this team, make sure that this team knows that their fans are behind them. If you concur, then like this video, leave me a comment in the comment section, let me know what you think. Uh, continue to pray for my family, for my dad, please. Um, he is not doing well. Um, I'm going up to the hospital today. Uh, they're going to talk about next steps, probably tracking him. Um, so it's 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 rough. He he has probably had it worse than or about as bad as you could even have it, and he, he's fighting. So I uh, please continue to pray, folks. Uh, love you guys, and I will see you in the next one.